You're looking for ways that you can make your racing simulator feel much more immersive. In this video, we're going over our top five ways that we found that you can add some add-ons to your simulator and it just feels that much better. Now, probably one of the most important pieces of hardware that you're gonna find on your simulator easily is the hydraulic pedals or the pedals that you, that you have down there uh, by your feet. Now, here at SimCoaches, we actually build fully hydraulic pedals that we put on our simulators. And the reason why we do that is because we want things that feel just like the real car. So that drivers, when they hop in their sim, they're not trying to relearn what their brake pedal feels like when they're coming into a corner. And that's very common for drivers. They put you know cheaper pedal sets on their, uh, their simulator, and then it's a little bit harder for them to uh, actually control what's happening when they're entering into the corner. Um, and so putting hydraulic pedals on your simulator literally changes your simulator and makes it feel just like a car that you would drive in real life. It's probably the biggest hack that you can make um, as a driver that's looking for a, a realistic simulator. So change your pedals out, put hydraulic pedals on your sim, um, and I guarantee that you will find a whole lot of time simply because it's a set that you're used to already driving on. Did you know 87% of you guys that are watching right now are not subscribed to our channel? What are you doing? You need to hit the subscribe button right now, subscribe, make sure you get notified about all of our videos so you can stay in touch. Back to the video. Another cheap way that you can actually really make your simulator much more immersive is by adding haptics underneath your seat. Now, a lot of people, they add a ton of these haptics, these uh, transducers to their simulator to every corner of their sim. And what ends up happening is it gives way too much vibration feedback to the driver and you can't feel anything that you're actually trying to feel for. So we keep it very simple. We put two of these, these are two uh, BST1 bass shakers from Dayton Audio, and we put two of them underneath the seat. And then all we do is inside of SimHub, we go and we, um, you know, we get our, our amplifier, and we, this is a two channel amplifier, and we just set this as a left uh, channel and a right channel for the other one. And then uh, you know, these give the outputs from the left and the right side of the car. So if you drop a wheel into the dirt, or you hit the rumble strips, or you can feel the uh, engine of the car running, that all comes right here from these haptic transducers. They're perfect. Um, we definitely recommend getting or looking into the Dayton uh, 50 watt transducers. We sell these on our website and we sell the entire kit with everything you need from wiring, the, uh, the proper amp, the uh, proper transducers, and literally everything else, the power supplies, all the stuff that needs to go with it. So uh, add some transducers on your sim. Not too many though, because then it turns into just a huge vibration mess. We recommend keep it simple, keep it easy, and put some of these right underneath your seat. So this is a tensioner belt tensioner kit. And this is really cool because simulators, even motion kits like this one here, they don't sustain G-forces. So, you know, when you go into a corner, you hit the brakes, it doesn't sustain G-forces at like one and a half, two Gs like you would in a car. But this belt tensioner right here is specifically meant to try to trick your mind into thinking that you are actually pulling Gs. And the way that it works is inside of this box on the left and the right side, there's an actuator in here very similar to this or very similar to even a direct drive base but much much smaller not as strong and sits right inside this box one for the left side one for the right side when you hit the brake or you turn the steering wheel or you get on your throttle what happens is these motors they tighten and they pull on these belt straps and they actually pull on your shoulders and they give you that feel as if you are actually inside of a car and the car's tightening up as you're on the brakes because you know you're getting pushed back into your seat so this is another beautiful thing it's a beautiful piece that you can add um, onto your simulator you know it comes with the tower and then you can um, go ahead and actually feel what it's like to have g-forces inside your sim it doesn't make g-force but it tricks the mind into thinking that you are sustaining g-force Probably one of my favorite add-ons that we've been doing a ton is adding motion to simulators. And I'll tell you what, adding the motion to these sims has been such a, a blast and such a joy because of the way that they actually operate. Now this simulator is six degrees of freedom. What that basically means is it moves in six different directions as it waddles around. It has seven actuators on it. Four of them are for the corners and this controls you know, your vertical movement. And then there's three more that are down on the bottom on this pad. Now this pad is referred to as a traction loss pad. And so the traction loss pad actually has an actuator in the back, so you could feel rear end traction loss, so the back end sways, but it has also a uh, actuator in the front, so you can also feel front end traction loss, almost like when you get into an understeer situation. On the pad, you also have an actuator down here in the middle that is uh, mounted par parallel with your body, and this gives you surge so the unit can move forward and back. So there are, are six different directions that this simulator moves in, and really with 
sim hub's newest software um, you can feel banking you can see how the simulator is sitting right now the car is actually on banking so it's sitting banked it gives you that sense that you're going over crests um, you can feel hills you can feel dips you can feel every single bump on the racetrack motion and you know where the software and where technology is going this without a doubt is becoming the coolest upgrade that you can have on your simulator because you truly feel like you're inside of the car imagine going to your favorite racetrack all the way across the world in your living room in your favorite car it's an unbelievable believable blast motion is super super cool and i recommend it if you haven't tried it yet give it a shot direct drive bases easily are another very important piece if you're trying to add on immersion now I'll say, direct drive bases, they're not incredibly important. You know, you could be super fast with a steering wheel that's not direct drive, but if you're trying to feel every single bump or you want to feel when the car's losing traction through your hands, or, or you just want to get that extra little feedback, you need a direct drive uh, steering wheel. Now, arguably there are upgrades that are more important than this thing right here, but again, if you're simply looking for immersion and you haven't upgraded a direct drive base yet, you're gonna need that. Make sure you have a nice stout cockpit, something that can actually handle the torque and the newton meters that this thing outputs, uh, because you're gonna want that. One quick tip of advice, depending on um, what kind of steering wheel you are putting on your direct drive base, that's actually what you decipher how heavy or how strong of a direct drive base you need. If your steering wheel is very light, doesn't have very many buttons, um, anything like that, no screen, no LEDs, you, you can get away with a very easy direct drive base. If you have a heavy steering wheel, a lot of LEDs, a lot of buttons, um, thick, aluminum body, uh, carbon fiber steering wheel like this GSI, it's very heavy, then you're gonna need a stronger direct drive base and that's how you get all the feedback. Make those changes to your racing simulator and I guarantee you are going to feel so much better. It's gonna be feel way more immersive. These are changes that we found throughout the years as we were building sims and we're trying to refine things, make things just that much better. So with that guys, I'm gonna get out of here, close off. Make sure you comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, let us know what you think. I will talk to you guys later. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.